because today we're going to set up the two simplest trading strategies that exist. The first one is going to be a so-called scalper, which is going to give you low marginal profits, but it's going to run pretty stable with a low risk. Okay. To do that, we need to add the blind indicator from the menu of the trade indicators. And with that, we're gonna add an insurance. You can add overcome fee costs. So that's gonna make sure that you are gonna overcome the fee costs. And as soon as you overcome the fee costs from that exchange, then it's going to either buy or sell. It's just going to, the blind indicator flips back and forth between buy and sell. So your coin position is just going to go back and forth between bought and sold, depending on when the price goes slightly up or down. This is good for relative flat markets that don't have a clear bullish or bearish trend. For that, it's great. Or for coins that don't have a whole lot of volume, and you can't get a clear signal, then you could just scalp it. Okay, another variation of this would be to remove the overcome fee costs and instead add something called percentage change. So, for example, at BDCE, the exchange fee is zero. 0.2% and we've set the percentage change insurance to 0.5%. Therefore, you are buying and selling at double the cost, so you're going to have a bigger profit as when you just use overcome fee costs. You could also adjust this in here to slightly higher amounts. You could even put it at 1 or you could put it 0.75, etc. And in that way you're going to make, you're still going to be scalping, but you're going to have bigger, you're going to trade less often with bigger profits. So that's up to you. And also if you're going to do scalping, then it's a good idea to have several bots with slightly different settings. For example, maybe one with overcome fee cost and another with using the percentage method that I just showed and starting at different prices so turn them off at slightly on and off at different times so that you're scalping at different areas and that's how you're going to be able to scalp a market okay another very simple one is without any insurances we're going to remove that we're going to remove the blind indicator and we're going to add price high low Okay, oh. car alarm going on outside of my house. Sorry about that. I don't know who that is. That's really annoying. <sighs> okay, now it's over. All right, so price high low. Very simple. All you do is type in at what price you want to buy. So for example, let's say right now we're in the bear market, as you all know, let's say at um, Bitstamp, I want to buy at 398. And I think that it's in a zone, it's going to continue sideways for a little while. And the low is going to be just below 400, so I put 398, and I think it's going to go between there and 410, so I put 410. Or I could put 409 and 23 cents, and I could also put here something like 43 cents or something, and maybe that's more likely to get filled than an exact amount because other people are going to put exact amounts too. All right, and that's it. High low, you set it. You don't need any insurances because you're gonna uh, you're gonna cover your exchange fees with the margin that you've already set. And that's it. You close it. And if you already have 
If you have dollars at the exchange and no Bitcoin, then you want to make sure you start with the coin position and sold. If you have only Bitcoin and no dollars, then you want to make sure that you start with a coin position and bought. And that goes for all coins. If it's a pair which is Bitcoin to an altcoin, then the altcoin is going to be over here at the bought side. And I mean, excuse me, Bitcoin is going to be your right, yeah. If it is an altcoin pair, then the altcoin is going to be over here and Bitcoin is going to be over here. And then you're going to want to switch it to what side you have enough coins in. And here is where you're going to set your trade amount. And that's going to be the same for high low or for the blind indicator scalp what I just showed you that's going to be the same we have fixed trade amount all in which is actually only 95% or percentages from the bought or sold side what I just sold you so in this case our sold side is US dollar and our bought side is Bitcoin and in that case you could set a percent of each side there's also a new feature that's in the beta and you can also use spread orders and if you want to use spread orders then you click that and yeah that makes it so you can split up the order into smaller orders so they get filled easier and faster and the advantage that you could earn a little more the disadvantage is that all your orders might not get filled so it's a little risky but it's going to increase your speed so if you want to do that with your high low that would be an okay tactic i wouldn't turn that on for scalping but for high low that would be perfectly fine as a strategy okay thanks for watching and enjoy trading